Charlie and I am Marara. Ah, Charlie, yo, I really loved last week's show. Yeah, so did I. It was really, really fun. We learned so much about travel and we got to hang out with our friends in the studio. Yes, we did. Now, we have so much lined up on today's show, like what play on cool words and out there with my speedy. All right, and let's not forget our quiz master, Queasy Quiz. Quizy quiz in the house as per usual, but let's go and start by meeting our friends in the chill out zone. Come on. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Now, why don't we say a big hello to everybody watching us at home? Hi. Now, we are all very happy that you could come to help us with the show today. Now, to start us off, Mara. Where's the big hairy lion? Mara! You know what? I think we should all just call out to him together on my count. One, two, three. Mara! Hey, hey, oh, 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 you're all here. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. You know, I went to get my pencil so that I can write down the nose and buzzwords for today. Oh, very well, Mara. Now, for you at home, we also hope that you have a pen and paper ready to write down today's buzzwords. Before we start, who can tell us what today's show is all about? Today's show is ab ab all about travel. Now, if that's what the show is about, what are the buzzwords? Slowly. Zebra crossing. Quickly. Road signs. Excellent. Now, all these buzzwords are very important, so listen out and see how many of them you can catch. But right now, it's time for us to go and join our six friends and see what fun they're up to. It's time for... The Playhouse! How come there's so much jam today? The main road is closed. I saw a road sign telling drivers to go a different way. People must be taking a shortcut through Makutano. We can't even get across the road now. We're going to be late for school. Look, you're not the only one finding it hard to cross. It will take her all day to cross. We should help her. Someone has manners. Not like these hooligans. Huh? Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Hey, these people. Where is Ongesha Iki to have you? What is this? Am I a human shield? Quick now, get to school. Or I might get used to this special treatment and ask you to carry my basket home. There they are, finally! Guys, quickly, you're late for class. We know, the traffic was really bad. Theo had to help Bernadette across the road. And that's something I don't want to do every day. We have to fix this traffic problem. I agree, let's all meet at the playhouse after class. What's that? VP Vopo? Who woke me? Mr. Zippo, can we come in? Well, is that you making all that noise, Daphne? No, it's the traffic in Makutano. Ah, so I suppose you want me to help you with that. Well, 
All right, now, why don't you answer this question before you can come in? <clears throat> How did the zebra cross the road? Uh, did he use a zebra crossing? Oh, wow, what a noise! Keep the door shut, keep it shut! Oh, that's too noisy! Wow. Mount China is really dangerous today because of all the traffic. They have to do something about it. Well, my advice would be stay inside. We can't, Mr. Zippo. Remember school? I think he's talking sense. There's too much traffic for us to be able to get back to school. Zach, we're being serious. Baby, you can't eat it, Mr. Zippo. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Perhaps Anne Marie is right. You must be able to get to school safely. So what can we do about it? I don't want to spend all day helping old people cross the road. You escorted an old person across the road? Now that is very kind, Theo. It is, Mr. Zippo. But we don't have time to help everyone cross the road. Well, no indeed. But Theo, why don't you have a think about the poor zebra we were discussing earlier? That's right, that's right. We can build a zebra crossing. Girls, we can borrow some paint from my dad. How can you paint the road with all the traffic on it? That's such a silly idea. Are you calling Mr. Zippo silly? Think up of your own idea if you don't like ours. We've got some work to do. See you later. Oh, I really thought that Theo had changed. But I'm not really sure this idea would work, Daphne. Come on, girls. We can do it. Let's show those boys. Go power! Daphne is terrible. She never listens properly. True, but also have that problem. Let's just try to think of a better idea than hers. Like what? Like... Um, like clearing off the rubbish for a start. Zach, Zach, stop dreaming. I have had an idea. Let's make a footpath and people will walk safely. Wasn't that Luigi's idea? Was it? This is impossible. And it's unsafe to paint here. And anyway, isn't it something that the traffic police and the city council have to do? Good point, Anne Marie. Are we even allowed to make our own zebra crossing? Haven't you started yet painting? No, we were going to, but we had a better idea. What about you? Have you come up with a plan yet? Let's not argue. We do have a plan to make a safer footpath. That's silly. Only the traffic police can do things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should talk to Mr. Zippo again. I don't think either of our ideas will work out. Mr. Zippo? It's not here. What's this? Oh no. Mr. Zippo might have been taken to the police station. Oh, good. I didn't leave my hat here. Are you here because of the zebra crossing? No, there are no zebra crossings in Makutano. I'm here because Bernadette told me how helpful you all were. And I also wanted to let you know that we put up no entry road signs on the main street. In fact, one of my officers is here stopping people from taking that shortcut. That's good news. Now you can get back to school safely. Yes, you can. Well, I must be on my way. Thank you all. See you. Bye. Bye. Oh, 
Hi, kids! Mr. Zippo! Mr. Zippo, where have you been? Did you see that policeman come in? Of course I did, but he did not see me. Mr. Zippo, you told us to build a zebra crossing. We would have gotten into trouble. Well, that's not what I meant, Daphne. There are proper ways of doing things. So, the right thing we should have done is to find a policeman to help stop the traffic cutting through Makutano. Exactly! Very well done, Anne-Marie. But in the end, we didn't have to. The police has found us. Yeah, he found you, but he did not find me. <laughs> <laughs> From Playhouse, this is Quizzy Quiz. What colors are a zebra crossing? A zebra crossing's colors are black and white. What did the policeman put to stop the traffic? The policeman put a no entry sign to stop the traffic. I really enjoyed that adventure. What about you guys? Did you enjoy it? Yes! yes! Excellent. And I loved Quizzy Quiz. I mean, he is just so cool. That's right, Charlie. Quizzy is the man. And I also thought I heard a lot of buzzwords in there. And wait a minute. I saw a zebra crossing. But sadly, there were no zebras using it. <laughs> now that buzzer can only mean one thing. It's time to join Chapendo in... Cool! cool. Hello everyone. Hello, teacher Pendo. Welcome to Cool Words. Today we are going to discuss some words related to transport in a town and how to be safe on the road. Now, can someone please demonstrate to us how to cross a road? Oh, teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. Now, you stop at the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Then you look right, mm -hmm. you look left, you look right again, and then you walk quickly across the road. But do not run across the road. Uh -huh. Thank you, Marara, for that explanation. Let's clap for him. Okay, it is very important to observe rules and to be careful when crossing a road or walking in a town. You should only cross the road when it is clear. However, there are other safe places that you can use to cross a busy road. Now, who can give me some examples? Yes, Isaac? At the zebra crossing. That's right. Now, I have a picture here of a zebra crossing. Now, it is an area marked on the road with white lines to show where people can cross the road. It is also referred to as a pedestrian crossing. Yes, Akot? What does pedestrian mean? Okay, so a pedestrian is someone who is walking. Now in towns there are many people walking along the streets. There are also very many vehicles such as cars, lorries, buses, motorcycles, matatus and many other types. So one word to describe all these vehicles moving on the road is the word traffic. Now let's all say the word traffic. Traffic. Okay, so next here is another picture I have. Now, who can tell us what it shows? Yes, Wakesa? It shows the picture of traffic lights. Aha, uh -huh. correct. So traffic lights are used to control traffic. Now, they have three colors. We have a red, we have orange or amber, and we have green. Okay, so red means that the cars should stop. Okay, and it is safe for pedestrians to walk across the road because it's clear, all right? Orange or amber signals the cars to get ready to move, okay? And the pedestrians should not cross when it's amber or orange, okay? And green means that the road is clear and cars can move. So which two places have we mentioned so far as being safe places for pedestrian to cross a road? Yes, Luvai? A pedestrian can cross the road at a zebra crossing or at the traffic light. Great. Now next, let's look at this picture. Let's all have a look. What does it show? Well, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. It's a picture of a policeman. 
But what is it doing by the side of the road? Okay, so this is a traffic police officer. Now his job is to make sure that drivers and pedestrians observe rules on the road. He also controls traffic by using his hands to stop or direct vehicles on the road. Now can somebody demonstrate to us how a traffic police officer does this? Yes, Mara. I can. Mm -hmm. Well done, Marara. Now, there are signs on a road that guide drivers and pedestrians, and these need to be observed so that everyone using the road can be safe. Now, look at this one. Now, this one means that there is a zebra crossing and wants drivers to stop and allow pedestrians to cross. Now, do you know any other signs? Yes, Isaac? A sign of school children crossing the road. Yes. Now, it warns drivers to drive slowly as there may be school children crossing the road. Someone else? Yes, a cop? I saw a bit that goes over a road. Is that one for pedestrians too? Aha, uh -huh, yes, a cop. Now, it is called a footbridge and is, it is constructed over a very busy road where cars are moving really fast and it's not safe to cross. So pedestrians should use the footbridge to avoid being hit by a fast-moving car. Someone else? Wakesa, do you want to give it a try? I also saw a road sign that shows railway crossing. That's right. Now that road sign is meant to make drivers aware that they are approaching a railway crossing where trains cross through a road. Now let's go through new words that we have learned today. We will start with you, Luvai. A zebra crossing is an area marked with white lines for people to cross the road. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Someone else? Yes, Isaac. A pedestrian is someone walking by the road. Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, a cop? Traffic lights are used. Mm -hmm, very good. Another one? Um, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Mararo. A traffic officer helps control the traffic and make sure that traffic rules are observed. Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, Wakesa? Road signs help to keep every road user safe. Aha, uh -huh, brilliant. And another one? Yeah, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Mararo. A footbridge is built over a busy road for pedestrians to cross. Aha, uh -huh. excellent job, everyone. Now be sure to look out for some more road signs as you travel on the road. Well, that's all for now, but be sure to join us later on. Right now, it's time for us to go on the road with Maspedi. That's right, it's time for Out There. Today I'm on a very special mission and I am definitely taking you with me. Come on, let's go out there and have lots of fun as we learn. Road accidents claim so many lives in many countries including Kenya. But did you know, sometimes it is some avoidable actions like this that can cause accidents on our roads? My friend Mr. Kime from the traffic police will be taking us through the importance of observing road safety. Come on, come with us. Every road user, be it a pedestrian, a driver, a cyclist, has a responsibility to obey all the traffic rules. And this does not leave the passengers out. As a passenger, always belt up before commencing any journey, whether it's a short distance or a long one. Pedestrians are only supposed to walk and cross at the safe zones only. On the highway, most people find it normal to run across the road once there isn't any vehicle in the vicinity, which is a very dangerous move as cars are on a high speed here. Even though it might seem to be lots of work and even tiring, it is advisable to use the footbridge. It's safer to cross the road here. And before you cross, you must first look right to check if the road is clear, but don't step onto the road while still looking for the cars. After looking right, look left. Look right again. Now you can prepare to cross. Only cross when the road is clear. Remember you must walk and not run. Also when the traffic light is green for the vehicle, you must stop. But when it turns red, you can now cross. 
always make sure there is no approaching car. You should always ride on the correct side of the road by keeping left. The flyover or the tunnel is the safest point of crossing the road. Did you know that wearing bright colored clothes or stickers can save your life? if you are walking at night on the roads. I have learned so much today on road safety, and I wish my bicycle had a safety belt too. It's now time for me to say goodbye. See you. Goodbye. Loma Speedy never runs out of energy, and he's always on the go in a new place. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Maspiri. Your adventures always make us smile. That's right, and the fun does not stop now because we have our first game. Oh, you're right, Marara. Now, the first game means we need to put our numbers in line and march straight into the market. It's time for Marara's shopping list. Welcome to our number game, Marara's Shopping List. That's right. Now, I've been given a shopping list by my mom, but I don't know if I have the right amount of things. Marara, you know we are here to help you. Of course we're going to help you, Marara. Now, there are four items on the list, as you can see. One, two, three, four. Now, you have to take turns to get all of the items on the list correct by getting more items from the market and putting them in the basket. Now, after your turn, you have to go back to the number team, tag your next team member like this, so they can go up to the market and help you get the next item. But remember, you have to do this before the market closes. Now, if you help me get my shopping list right, you do not go home empty-handed because you get to take these fabulous books back to your school. Yes, you do. And of course, we have special prizes for each one of you. Now, the question is, are you ready? Yes! Oh, I know that sound. The market is about to close. Team leader Akoth, off you go. All right, Akoth, you're up first. The first item is 12 pieces of string. Okay, so how many pieces do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. How many more do I need to make twelve? Four. Four. Go, 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 go. Get the four items. Get them, get them, get them. There you go, there you go. You charge the next person. Charge the next person. All right. Now, the second item on the list is ten ribbons. So, how many ribbons do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five. How many more do I need to make ten? Five. Okay. Go, 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 go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Charge the next person. Ruba, it's your turn now. The third item is eight pieces of rope. How many pieces of rope do I have? One. One. How many more do I need? Seven. Seven. Go, 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 go. Pick the seven. Pick the seven. Pick the seven. Kidia, 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 Okay, so, come on, come on, come on, it's your turn, it's your turn. The last item is six cables. How many cables do I have? One, two, three. Three, how many more do I need to make six? Three. Three, got you. Three, Wow. You did it just in time. That was absolutely excellent. Now, let's see if you got the sums correct. Now, as a note, just so you remember, now each of our pieces of string and ribbon and rope and cable are measured in meters. So each piece is one meter long. Now to start with, Marara needed to get 12 pieces of string. So that's 12 meters of string in total. He only managed to get eight by himself. How many does he have to add to get 12? Four. Ooh, very confident answer, Marara. How many did the team bring you? Okay, let's find out. One, two, three. I can only see three and one more. So that means four. Four, well done, team. <laughs> Congratulations, that is correct. So eight plus four is equals to 12 meters of string. So well done, a very strong start from you. Now let's move on to the second one. Marara needed to get 
10 ribbons. Now, if each of the pieces of ribbon is a meter long, that means he needed to get 10 meters of ribbon. He only managed to get five by himself. How many does he have to add five. to get 10? Oh, oh wow. five. <laughs> All right. How many pieces of ribbon did the team bring you? Oh, let's find out. I can only see one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five! Five! Well done, team! Congratulations! Five plus five is equals to ten meters of ribbon. So, good job. All right, now, well done, team. You've solved two of the sums correctly. There's two more. Now, the third sum. Marara needed to get eight meters of rope. Eight meters of rope. Now, he only managed to get one by himself. Not too good, Marara. Which means you needed to get how many for him to have eight in total? Seven. 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 The whole team again. Now, Marara, how many pieces did the team bring you? Okay, they brought one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and uh, uh, seven. Seven. Well done, team. Awesome. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. That is right. Now, one plus seven means that you managed to help Marara get all eight meters of rope that he needed. And finally, we have cables. Now, Marara needed to get six meters of cable. He only managed to get three by himself. How many would you have to add for him to have all six? Three. 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 Wow, Marara, how many did they bring you? Okay, fine. We'll make it easy. One, two, and three. Three. Well done, team. That is absolutely correct. Three plus three equals the six meters of cable that Marara needed. Now, by my calculation, that's one, two, three, four. You have done all four sums correctly. Let's give them a round of applause. Team leader, Akot, please step forward. Now here, here, my dear. Thank you. Here are some fabulous textbooks for you to take back to your school. Come on, show everyone at home. There she goes. Clap for her. And that is not all. You each get a special prize just for taking part. Come on up and get your prizes. Come, 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 come. All right, now, if you enjoyed playing Mara's shopping list, be sure to join Stapendo later on for more fun with numbers on Hot Numbers. That was really intense. These kids, too confident. Too confident. It was actually really <laughs> brilliant. And I think this is the time for us to take a break. Yes, it is. It's time for us to go and check out what Dunia is up to on Our World. everyone great to have you back on our world with me dunia so how many of you have sheep at home i don't but i've always wanted some sheep are very useful animals because they provide us with warm clothes carpet and more do you know how i am going to show you today how this sheep's wool becomes this lovely warm jumper Ready? Let's go check it out. We have traveled to Nakuru where some sheep farmers have already sheared their sheep. Sheared means to shave off their coats. When the wool is off the sheep, it looks like this. The first step is combing. They brush the wool till it is soft and untangled. This is taken to a machine to be made into strings of wool called yarn. Step two, cutting. They use this machine to straighten out the wool and remove any unwanted material. Step 3. Spinning. This is 
so cool. Check it out. The machine spins the wool together to form one strand of yarn. Step 4. This is washed and then wound into a measurable amount. As you can see, the yarn can be many different colors depending on the shape. Now, the yarn is ready to be taken to a weaver. A weaver is someone who makes things out of yarn. I have brought you to Elementator Weavers in Nevasha. We are going to watch Henry and Godfrey as they make things. to weave the yarn through the machine, they also use their feet. This skill takes a lot of practice. But look at all the beautiful things you can make. It has inspired me to learn. So if you want to make beautiful things like this when you grow up, you need to learn how to be a weaver and find some nearby woolly sheep. That's all for now, but visit us next week for more on Our World. Bye! Thank you, Dunia. We really enjoyed that. We definitely did, but right now it's time for us to take a short, short, short break. But do not go too far because we still have so much fun lined up. So, what else is coming up? Hot numbers, cool words. Spell it! And with all that, we have to see you and you after the break right here on the No Zone. Hey guys, don't forget that you can get this fun revision booklet delivered to you for free. It will cover all the subjects that you've learned in term one and help with your revision. All you need to do is ask your parent or your teacher to help you send an SMS to this number 30606. Start your SMS with the word booklet, then your name and address and we will send it to you. And parents, there are some special tests you can do with your children to help you know how good they are doing in school. Have a fantastic week. Bye. Welcome back to the No Zone, the place where we have lots of fun while we learn. Now, before we get too far, why don't we remind everyone at home what the buzzwords are? Slowly. Zebra Rossi. Quickly. Road signs! Very well. Now, all these words teach us more about travel. You're right, Janet. And I always use the zebra crossing to cross the road. So what I do is always look right, then left, then right again, just to be safe. 
That is very right, Marara. And I hope that you at home are also very safe as you cross the road. Wow, I know what that means. It's Teacher Pendo time. Yes, Ma, you are very correct. Teacher Pendo is waiting for us in the learning zone for more number fun on... Hot Numbers! Hello, everyone. Hello, Teacher Pendo. Welcome to Hot Numbers. In the past couple of episodes, we have been learning about measuring length. Now, we have learned about the meter as a unit to measure length and have had lots of fun measuring different things like our height. Oh, Teacher Pendo. Yes, And Mara. our relatives. Remember I told you about uh, my uncle Mustafa? Yes, Marara, and our relatives too. Now, this week, we shall learn how to measure mass. Now, does anyone remember what mass is? Yes, Musasia? Mass is how heavy something is. That is correct. Mass is the measure of how heavy something is. The larger the mass of something, the heavier that item is. Now, to help us with today's lesson, I have brought a weighing scale. Whoa, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. I always see this at the butchery. Aha, uh -huh, that's very observant of you, Marara. Now, this is used in many places like the butchery to weigh the mass of various goods in order to see how heavy they are. Now, today we are going to use our weighing scale to compare the mass of different items. Now, we have a shoe, a cup, an exercise book, a banana, and we have a pencil case. Okay, yes, Akello. How does it work, Chapendo? A weighing scale works almost like a seesaw. On a seesaw, there are two people on each end. Now, the seesaw goes up and down depending on the mass of the people on either end. Now, in the same way, you simply put two items on either side of the weighing scale. And depending on how much lower one side goes compared to the other, we can compare the masses of different items. For example, we can compare the masses of these items. So which two items should we compare first? Look, at Chapendo. Yes, Marara. Can we try the banana mm -hmm. and the shoe? OK, so the banana and the shoe. Whoa, at Chapendo. Yes, Marara. The shoe is much heavier than the banana. Uh -huh. It must belong to someone with a very, very large foot. <laughs> okay, as Marara said, the shoe is heavier than the banana. Now we can see that the side on the scale with the shoe is much lower than the side with the banana. It therefore has a larger mass than the banana. Okay, now what other items do you want us to compare? Yes, Karama? The pencil pouch and the cup. Mm -hmm. So we have a pencil case there and the cup. Wow. Which of the two has a larger mass? The cup. Uh -huh. Okay, let's have two other items to compare. Who wants to give us those? Yes, Omondi? The, the exercise book and the banana. Mm -hmm. So the exercise book and the banana. All right, so which one has a larger mass? The, the banana. banana. Excellent work, everyone. Now, I have brought some marbles with me today, and we are going to use the marbles to find the mass of the items we have with us. Now, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. How will we do that? Okay, so we will put the shoe on one side of the scale, and on the other side, we'll put the marbles on the scale. Then, when we reach a balance, we can say that the shoe has the same mass as the number of marbles we have put in. Now, uh, how will we know when we reach a balance? Okay, we will have a balance when the shoe and the marbles are on the same level. If the two things have the same mass, then the two items will be on the same level on the scale. None will be higher or lower than the other. Shall we start? Yes! Okay, so we have the shoe here, and then we're going to put in our marbles. Have they balanced? No. No? I add some more? 
Are you sure, Marara? Yes, just add a little bit okay, more. Okay, oh. that's the end of my marbles. Let's see. Okay, so it seems heavier. I'm going to remove some marbles. Oh, 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 Chapelle, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Put some more marbles. One some, more. One more. Okay. Has it moved? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. There moved. we have it. It has balanced, Japendo. <laughs> yes, Marara, it has balanced. Okay, so we can say that this shoe and these marbles have the same mass. This has been a very good lesson. Well done, all of you. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today, but be sure to join us next time for more hot numbers. But for right now, let's see what's happening in Creative Zone. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Creative Zone. Now, we're going to be doing some dance moves today. It's hip hop again, but this one might be a bit more complicated. So before we get started, I'm going to ask you to ask your parents to help you do these moves. But with that being said, I'm going to hand it over to Dotty and Semi. So Dotty, show us what you've got. Oh, look at that. Oh, you see that? Brush it off your shoulder, it's perfect. So, Dotty, the moves you've shown us look a bit more complicated than what we did last time. Yes, it is, but I will show you and our studio friends just how easy it can be. All right, so I'm going to hand over, as I said, Dotty and Semi, and our learners here in the studio who will be learning just like you are at home. Remember, ask your parents to help you do some of these moves because it might get a bit complicated. For now, I'm going to take my moves and Turn it. Boot, boot, boot. <laughs> so, Sammy, take us through what you have for us today. Okay, today we are going to learn some hard hip hop movements, but you have to be careful. Okay, so we are going to do the rock, and this rock, you have to know how to kick ball change. And with my, the help of my dancers, and we're going to show you this is how it is done five, six, seven, eight, and kick ball change, kick ball change. Kick ball change, kick ball change. Okay, now we have to use also the, the arms. And the arms goes in, open and close, open and close while you kick. And five, six, seven, eight. And kick, change, kick ball change, kick ball change, kick ball change. Okay, I hope you're enjoying it and you're learning. So we are going to show you the other movement, which is the crossing. And this is how you cross. First, open your legs, open it, open it. Very nice. And then we cross. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight. And cross 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 and cross. Okay. So, guys, we are going to show you some of the easiest freezes. And the first one is the chair freeze. You go down. You take your right leg onto your left leg. Just like this. And some little attitude. Okay? So, one of our dancers is going to show you so that it can be easy for you also to learn. And look how easy it is. Wow, that's great. The next one is a one step. And the one step, you take your right leg, pass it under the other one, and to the other side, all right? So also, one of our dancers is going to show you how easy it is, but be careful. And wow, that's great. So, guys, we're going to pull this move movement with some music, and we are going to show you how easy it is to dance to these moves. And five, six, seven, eight. Go, 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 Swabra. Go swabra, go swabra, go swabra, go swabra, go swabra, go colo, go colo, go colo, go colo, go colo, go colo. Wow, 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 wow. Yo, 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 yo. And one, two, three, four. Wow, wow, we are having an amazing time on the show today. Join Janet, Charlie, and Marara on the chill out zone as my friends and I continue to. Dance! And five, six, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 
I always enjoy Creative Zone. It's so cool. I know, I really enjoyed it as well, but I won't lie to you, my mind is already on what's coming up next. Ha, Charlie, that is because you love Spell It. Of course I love Spell It. If I could, I would live in the spelling zone forever. Well, I think Charlie needs company. So let's go and see which one of our spellers is going to be the champion today. It's time for Spell It. Animal, animal chapter, building, building narrow, building, respect, respect, respect deep, vegetable, work, work, work. Welcome to Spell It. Now this is the place where we play with our w w words and our le le letters. Huh? Musasia, Karama, Akelo, and Omondi. You were about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's Nozone Spelling Champion. Now the winner of today's competition will win their school a Nozone Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes! yes. All right, all of today's words will be coming from our topic of, Marara? Travel. Oh, all right, now let's Fly away and start this show. Musasia, you're up first. So come on down and step in the spotlight. Travel, 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 travel. <laughs> Musasia, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Bus. B-U-S. Trip. T-R-I-B-P. Cut. C-U-T. Drive. D-R-I-V-E. Traffic. T R A W I. F I C Zebra Z E B R A Johnny G O U R N O Well okay, done, Miss well Asia. Come on back. Congratulations. Karama, it's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. Trouble, 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 trouble. Karama, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Ox O X Rod. <laughs> R O A D Fuel F U E L Truck T, -t R A C K Slowly S L O W Police L Y All right Police P A P O L C E Well right. done Very well Come done back. Akello, you're up next, so come on down and step in the spotlight. Travel, 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 travel. Akello, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Van. V-A-N. Boat. B-O-A-T. Fair. F-A-I-R. Signs. S-I-G-H-I-N-S. -I Quickly. Q-U-I-C-K-L-Y. Wheels. W H W E L S Station S T A T I O N Travel Well done, right. Akello. Well done. Back. And finally, Omondi. It's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. Travel, 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 travel. Omondi, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Ka. C A R. Fast. F A R. S T tour T U repeat tour T U R lorry L O double R Y railway R R A R A I L U All right, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done all of you. Charlie, yes. please reveal the results. All right. I'll start with Musasia. Now, Musasia, you spelled the word cut, C-U-T, correctly. However, the word that Janet asked you to spell was cart, C-A-R-T. You spelled one, two, three, four, five words correctly. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> now, Karama, 
you spelled one, two, three words correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Well done, Karama. Akin. You spelled one, two, three, four, five words correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Well done, Akello. Well done. And finally, Omondi. Omondi, you ran out of time while trying to spell the word railway. Nonetheless, you spelled one, two, three words correctly. Let's give them a round of applause. Wow, which means that we have two winners. So, the winners of today's Nose on Spelling competition with five words spelled correctly are Musasia and Akello. For the both of you, Akello, congratulations. You are today's Nose on Spelling champion. Musasia, congratulations. You are also today's Nose on Spelling champion. Come stand here. Akello, everyone face out there. And hold it together and show everyone at home a round of applause. Well, congratulations. A step on back, step back, step back. Yes, step back. Very well done, all of you. For spelling so many words correctly, you each get a storybook. Because of the Nozon, no one is a loser. Come on up and get your storybook. Come, come, come. Wow, that was an intense round of spellings. I know what you mean, but I think we should actually take a little bit of a break. I would like a story. Well, we're going to have to wait. There's a story coming up later, but right now, let's go and join Teacher Pendo and see what she has lined up for us on Cool Words. Welcome back to Cool Words. Now, I am going to ask some of you to carry out some activities, okay? Now, I want the rest of you to watch carefully. Now, Isaac, can you please draw a house? Okay, so when you're done, please show everyone in the class your house and everyone at home. All right, so a cop. Can Isaac draw a house? Yes, he can. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Now notice the use of the word can in my question and also in a cop's answer. Now when a person is able to do something, we say, yes, he or she can. Who can tell me what we say when a person is not able to do something? Yes, Bekesa? No, he or she cannot. Mm -hmm, very good. So he or she cannot. Okay, now, Luvai, would you please touch the end of my table? Okay, so that's quite a struggle. So, Marara, can Luvai touch the end of my table? No, she cannot touch the end of your table. Mm -hmm, great. Okay, now, Bekesa, Please lift this bag. Okay, so Isaac, can Wakesa lift the bag? Yes, you can lift the bag. Excellent job, everyone. You've all done really well. Now be sure to be safe on the road as you travel out and about. Well, that's it for today, but be sure to join us next time for more cool words. That's right. It's time for us to travel to Story Zone. This is a story of the railway station. Hoot, hoot. The train made a sound that woke the children up. Quickly, Kantai called the sister. The sigh, the sigh. The train is passing by. Let's go see it. Quickly, the two children got out of the house and looked at the train passing by. They sang the train song. Chook, chook, chook. Our train has come, chook, 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 to take us to the farm, chook, 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 to eat a yum. The two children sang the song until the train disappeared to the hills. They stood facing the direction of the train for some time. Then mommy called, Kantai, Lesai, where are you? 
Yes, mommy, replied Kantai. We are behind the house. What are you doing there? asked mommy. We are looking at the train, replied Lesai. Oh, I see. One day I shall take you for a ride in it, said mommy. The children ran to their mother and asked, When are we going, mommy? Mommy said, Next week I shall be going to the city center. We shall all go together. On the day the children were to go to the city center, they woke up very early and prepared themselves. By the time mommy and daddy woke up, the children were seated in the sitting room. Daddy prepared breakfast for the family. He made tea, fried eggs, ground nuts, and boiled maize. The children enjoyed the meal. They put some ground nuts in the pockets to eat while in the train. Mommy and the children left the house. Daddy went to work. The railway station was not far from where they live, so Mommy and the children walked there. Once at the station, Mommy paid the fare and she was given three tickets. The children couldn't wait to get into the train going to the city center. Mommy and the children got into the train and took the seats next to the window. The children stood to look outside the window. After a short while, the train made a loud sound. Hoot, hoot, hoot. And off they went. Together, the children started singing their train song. Chook, 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 our train has come. Chook, 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 to take us to the farm. Chook, 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 to eat a yum. Suddenly, it became very dark in the train. Lesai asked mommy, why is it dark? Who has switched off the light? Mommy said, the train is passing through a dark tunnel. Kantai held his mother's arm and said, Mommy, the train is going to fall into the river ahead. What shall we do? Mommy said, no, Kantai, we will not fall. The railway line goes over the river. It was built that way. Don't be afraid. Just enjoy the ride. Sure enough, the train went over the river. The river looked very beautiful down below. Just then, Lesai, who was still standing by the window, said, Kantai, look! Quickly, Kantai looked in the direction Lesai was pointing. There were many animals grazing in the open field. Kantai asked, are those cattle? Mommy said, no dear, those are buffaloes. After a long time, the children decided to sit down and eat the groundnuts they had carried from them. Mommy had also carried some bananas. She peeled a banana and took a bite. As she was about to take another bite, a baby monkey jumped inside the train through the window near them. The children got scared and held their mother. The mommy said, Monkeys are not dangerous. I think it is hungry. Mommy gave the monkey her banana. The monkey took it and jumped out through the window. Then Lesai said, I like traveling by train. I have seen many animals. Kantai said, from now on, I will be traveling by train. Mommy said, the train can only go to places that have the railway line. Many places do not have the railway line. After a short while, they heard the train making a sound. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Then it stopped. They had reached the city center. The end. From the story zone, this is Quizzy Quiz. What do the children do when the train passes the house? The children sing a song when the train passes the house. What did the children eat for breakfast on the day they were going for a train ride? 
They ate tea ground nuts, fried eggs, and boiled maize. Who was the unexpected visitor on the train ride? A monkey was the unexpected visitor on the train ride. I really enjoyed that story, it was lovely. Yeah, me too. And I especially enjoyed Quizzy's Quiz. Did you all enjoy it? Yes! So did I, and that story is the perfect way to end today's show. Did you have fun? Yes! Excellent, and we enjoyed having you, and we enjoyed having you join us for today's show. Yes, the Nozen will be back with more games, more learning, and more fun. Make sure you join in right here next week. Come on, everyone, let's say goodbye. Bye! Hey, guys, don't forget that you can get this fun revision booklet delivered to you for free. It will cover all the subjects that you've learned in Term 1 and help with your revision. All you need to do is ask your parent or your teacher to help you send an SMS to this number, 30606. Start your SMS with the word booklet, then your name and address, and we will send it to you. And parents, there are some special tests you can do with your children to help you know how good they are doing in school. Have a fantastic week.